Stay Ninja Fresh. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Riku the Best, better than the rest, aka the Dark Knight. You call me that. You're good for today. Coming at you with another Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing video. This is a. Well, I want to call it everything about Blazing. Alright, this is going to be a little. Can't say tutorial. I'm basically going to show you and tell you everything I know about the game. It's for beginners, basically. So, I'm going to cover as much as possible. I'm going to cover story mode, emergency mission, trials, phantom castle, ninja road, ninja world clash, the ninja trials up here, the notice, ram, ramen, the rio, pearls, and units. Goddamn everything. So, let me just stop beating around the bush. Story mode. For the new people, story mode. All right. Grind all story mode. You see this? You have normal and hard in story mode. I haven't completed it myself because I'm a well and I don't really care. You do all these ejectors, and when you complete a whole stage, like stage 10, stage 11, I believe they will give you five pearls. So do that, complete all these on normal and hard, and then they also give you ramen cups as well. And you can just check the items that they give you right here. Complete all of the story, get all the lucky drops, and you'll get a pearl. To grind pills, pills are used to boost up the attack of a unit. I'll get back to that later. You grind strength pills on stage. Let me check. Give me a second. Shout out to my boy Kabuki for this. Grind strength pills on 10-4. On story mode 10-4 on hard mode. And grind HP pills on story mode 9-2 on hard mode. Shout out to Kabuki again for that. So that's it for story mode. Next, we're going to cover Ninja World Clash. I don't recommend it. This is literally for whales. However, as far as team building, I'm just going to go over it faintly as well. As far as team building, this is how I make my team. Speed determines who goes first. Strength is determines how much damage you do with the normal attack. And HP just determines how much HP your character has. Yeah, luck has a factor, including the abilities like these that boost attack or a chance to substitute right there, right there. These all apply in PvP mode, Ninja World Clash. So, and the boost that the pills get. Well, these are the pills right here 300 HP, 100 attack. Abilities, depending if you have an ability for that character that boosts either health, strength, or speed, that'll be applied to the character. Speed, at least three speed characters. And three strong characters. F, Haku, Speed, Naruto, Speed, Sasuke, Speed, Killer B, Strong, Gata, he's pretty strong, and he has a chance to seal. Madara is a my AoE Jutsu to clean out the whole field. He's strong, as well as Madara being decently fast. So, that is my whole layout. Three fast people, three strong units. Or Tanks are like 35 plus, I guess. That's just me, 35k plus health. Whatever. Whenever Ninja Rogue comes out, grind it as much as you can. Get as many points as possible to help you out in getting ramen, scrolls, new characters that will show up in Ninja Rogue, or any other item that they will have. Phantom Castle, when this comes out, grind it. Uh, generally have like three four days, probably five days. Get up to room 100, get the Phantom Castle character. It's a free character. Don't waste pearls. Wait for your pearls. I'll, I'll just show you. You don't want to waste Phantom Castle stamina on pearls ever if you're free to play wait for it to refill it will refill after a amount of time use three orbs and then you wait until they refill and then you use it you just have to basically keep up to date on it so you know when to do it but you try to get to room 100 before it ends you should have plenty of time trial missions this is how you limit break characters don't do heruzen at all don't do jiraiya do sunate go for sunate if you have a decent skill team, go for Tsunade. Don't go for Haruzen or don't go for Jiraiya or don't even go for Orochimaru. I would recommend Minato and Tsunade. Haruzen has an AoE that immobilizes. Jiraiya has an AoE that immobilizes and he can attack continuously. And he can use his Jutsu continuously as well. Orochimaru has a single target Jutsu that immobilizes. If you're playing on auto, that can kind of catch you slipping in kill you pretty much so Minato and Tsunade are the easiest one Tsunade has a single target ultimate and she heals herself so yeah definitely do Tsunade definitely do Tsunade when you're farming well if you're farming a certain type you have to farm you know Heruzen whatever element that is 
just to get enough of those crystals, but just to get the rest of the, the trial points and buy the character crystal instead of the element crystal, you can just do Sonate and Minato. So now we go to emergency mission. Before we do that, Rio top left. Always want to grind Rio when it's available. Definitely grinding Rio is your best friend. You need it for everything. You need it for a limit breaking, which costs millions and millions of Rio. Grinding Rio should be priority. Emergency mission. Impact raids, time events. They are up for two hours, then they go away for like another hour or two, and then they come back up for two hours. Impact raid characters, if you're free to play, you will always want to farm a impact raid character. Free to play characters in this game, unlike some other gacha games that won't be named, are very good, some kind of trash, but generally they are very good characters to grind for free to play. Emergency raid, just a regular raid. Um, Suigetsu, grind them, grind all free to play characters. This Itachi, however, is an older event. Do not grind him. He's useless. He is garbage. This Gata garbage. The raid character. You will want to grind a raid character that definitely has a six star. The raid character for this event, the red eyes, five star. Uh, old event. This Gata old event, five star. Rockley old event, five star. Zabuza old event, five star. Rio is not out right now, but you would definitely want to grind it when it's up. Grind scrolls and grind ramen and grind the real multiplayer. That's recommended. Highly recommend if you grind it multiplayer. That way you won't waste stamina. You can join a room with other people and still get ramen scrolls or Rio. You will still get the drops for those, but you know, you'll keep your stamina. So definitely want to conserve your stamina. You don't want to be using pearls all the time to refill your stamina. If you're free to play, you won't have that. You won't have that luxury of just keep using pearls for this or box space. I'll get to that in a minute. So older rates, don't even worry about just grind pearl objectives with friends online, multiplayer. But for the newer rates like so we get to, yeah, you, you can grind for them. And impact rates, all impact rates, I would say go for. Definitely for free to play. Team, I'm gonna cover all the tabs down there as well. Team setup, I recommend having team of every element like ignore that ignore that i'll have a team for a skill heart body bravery and this is technically supposed to be wisdom but i deleted my wisdom team no wisdom i went too fast okay bravery and then wisdom just because you know who you will have and especially for parallel objectives you need specific units so you definitely want to have organize your team layout to where you have all your elements cover it, and as far as you have two extra team box space, so you can just do whatever with them. And also, I want to cover another thing. Um, that was the team setup, every element. Body, heart, skill, wisdom, and bravery. And then you have two extra slots where you can use for under 28, and maybe a real grinding team, or a uh, scroll grinding team, but you only have like two units on. However you want to do that. We're going to go to enhance. Yes, we're going to enhance. <laughs> when you are leveling up someone, I'm going to show you. Level one. When you grind out a character from a raid, he'll appear as a five star gold. And the newer raids will appear as a five star instead of a four star, like, like something like this. They will come out as a five star. So, for example, Zabuza is a raid character. His uh, raid just went away. Not an impact raid, but he's uh, just regular raid. He's level one. So if you decide to feed him ramen, which highly recommend it, you will feed him the same type ramen. I don't think I have any. Unfortunately, I do not. You will get more experience if it the same type ramen. Let me just do another, for example. Let me just do another unit, for example. Uh, what is Haku? Haku is a impact raid unit because impact raid character come with five luck. Impact raid. If you're playing S rank impact raid, a drop is five luck. Impact raids, a disclaimer, you also want to farm 19 impact raid characters on s rank because they all have five luck you will want to have a 99 luck character of every type body heart wisdom skill and bravery just because of the lucky drop if you have 99 luck character you should put them in the first spot if you're grinding for a drop put your 99 luck character in the first spot and then you can put your other units as normal the second row doesn't matter the first row does first spot first row 99 luck character that matters so for example people like Haku skill type obviously right level one right we're gonna give him this ramen real quick as you can see 
That's a lot of experience, right? But it only costs 100 Rio. So if I add more, how much How much more do you think it'll cost? We're going to add 7. It's a lot of experience. Almost maxed out. It's only 700 Rio. Not a lot of Rio at all. Now check this out. Now check this out. Remember, how cool is that level 1? Same type ramen. Alright, let's go to a different unit. Let's go to a different 5-star unit. Tamari, she's a banner character. She's level 34. She's not completely leveled up, but she's not level 1. Now check this out. I'm going to give her one Rio. I'm going to give her one ramen. One. And the cost of that ramen? 3400 It's not 100 anymore. It costs 3400 Rio. That is a waste. Now let me show you. One more time. With seven ramen this time. It costs 23,000 real. That is a waste of money. You always want to level up a character from one to max so that it only costs 100 real. However, if you don't max them out from one to 70 as a five star, you're going to be wasting real. So you will want to max that character out at level one and then straight to 70. Don't do like one to 20, then level 20. That's a waste of Rio. See how much this cost? You can max Haku out with maybe a third of this Rio, maybe a fourth of this Rio quarter, you know? Feed ramen to a character that is level one. That's all I recommend. You will save you a lot of Rio, a lot of money. Also with pills, the pills has the same factor. So we're gonna use the free Sage Mo Naruto. We're gonna clear this. As you can see, by him being level one, the ramen converted over to this character, it only costs 700. It doesn't cost 23,000 or 2300 rather. So we're gonna clear it. The same thing applies to the strength and HP pills, which I will show you. These pills, I'll show you. I'm gonna three, five of both. The three star pill bottles, strength, right here. This is strength pill bottle. The strength pill bottle is wisdom, and it gives you four plus attack to your stat. This is the wisdom bottle. It gives you 10 plus stat to your character. So two star HP in attack bottles or strength bottles. Strength bottles, uh, two stars give you two added points. Three stars give you four added points. It doubles, you know, two, four, two star and three star. HP bottles give you five HP points with two star bottle, but 10 HP points to with a three star bottle. So let me show you on this character stat. So we have five of the wisdom and five bravery. So since we have five wisdom there, it should be how much? I said it was four per bottle. It should be 20 points altogether. However, it should be 50 HP for this right here. So let's check. Yep, 50 HP added and 20 strength is gonna add to the base value of the original stats and it's gonna show a different value. So you want to do this at level one as well. As you can see, a thousand, a hundred per bottle. It's 10 bottles, so you have a thousand Rio. You don't want to use pills or ramen on a character that is not level one. Now, what if you already maxed out a character such as, let's see, let's see, let's go to Kitty and Sasuke. But you don't have any pills in them, pills investment. So, for example, he's 145. I'm going to put these pills into him. Let me show you. So five of each, like I said, 20 attack and 50 HP. This costs 145,000 Rio. This man is almost fully limit broken. 145,000 Rio. I'm not going to pay for that. Other way around that is, if you have a unit that is limit broken or you already maxed them out and you didn't have pills at the time, here's the solution. I'm actually going to do this to my character as well so you guys will see. We're going to grab one of these fodder characters. It doesn't really matter. However... Well, it does. I will grab a random four-star character that no one uses. Or if you have, or you can just go to a friend summit and use one of those units. Friend summit, if you're running out of fodder. So we're going to go over We're going to grab five of these. And we're going to grab five of these. A thousand. A hundred per real bottle. A hundred per pill bottle. Strength and HP pills. See, from level 1 to level 9, of course it doesn't max him out. We don't, we don't plan on adding anything else to this character, so it's fine. Give him the pill bottles. As you can see, the values. 
50 and 20 for HP. The values, max values for the characters are different. Five stars or six stars, max values are 300 HP, 100 attack. Five stars, 200 HP, 75 attack. Three stars, the max values are 100 HP and 50 strength or 50 attack, as you can see. So we're gonna click OK. We're gonna feed these pill bottles to this guy. So if I try to do the same thing again, it's gonna cost a ton more real than it would, which I will show you. So, gave him the pill bottles, okay. So what if we didn't exactly max him out but we wanna put more pill bottles on him? So if you try to put real or pill bottles on this guy, it's gonna cost a lot more. So we're gonna put five or six and four. And this is gonna cost, not gonna cost a thousand, it costs 9,000. It costs a lot more than it would have when he was at level one. So. The solution to putting pills into characters that you already maxed out is, where's Sasuke? We're gonna use Sasuke. As you can see, 145,000, we're gonna clear that. The character that we just used to put pills into him, we're gonna use that character and fuse him into Sasuke, right here. So we're gonna take this character, and look how much Rio cost, 14,000. Not 145,000. 14,000 instead of almost a quarter of a million Rio. Well, of course, a quarter of a million is 250,000, but Almost a quarter. So, cost 14,000 instead of 145,000. Worth it. Put the pills into him. He will get the pills. The boost on the pills. 50 health, 28 strength as the guy has, you know, gotten. Put him into Sasuke. That's how you would basically feed pills into a unit that you already maxed out. Go to the values. 50, 20. There you go. That's uh, another thing I'm going to show you right there. Make sure you make good use of it. Farm the pills out of story mode. 10 4, 9 2. Make sure you check that out. In story mode. On hard mode. Any free to play character that you get, keep. Keep them. Madara's Impact Raid character. Haku's an Impact Raid character. Zabuza's a Raid character. Kirin and Naruto came with a celebration. So. Neji is a Phantom Castle character. Definitely keep all Phantom Castle characters. Asuma, Edo Asuma was a raid character. Everyone else is pretty much banner cards with the exception of like Suigatsu and this guy right here. I can't remember his name, but yeah. Your inventory, you shouldn't have to worry about expanding it too much because you shouldn't be keeping that many units in there. But keep in mind, you do have healers, you have people that attack. Make sure you check out their buddy skills and their field skills. Field skills applies when their character's in the front row. Buddy skills applies when they're in the back row. Awaken, of course, this is self-explanatory. Get the scrolls needed to awaken. Certain units require certain scrolls. So this one, he still probably requires two stars, three star body scrolls to awaken. However, Edo Madara requires three stars and four star scrolls to awaken. See the difference there? It shows you how old and new the cards are, you know. It shows you that. Anybody uh, like a lesser unit wouldn't require as much. Like him, one star and two star scrolls. No one uses one star scrolls. So keep that in mind. All 17s, five of them with the same type element, other two, under 28, or a rainbow. Certain units you should limit break, while others you should not. Like, certain units are worth it, certain units aren't. Like, this bundle Sasuke, he's not worth limit breaking at all. So I just stopped at 125. It doesn't. He's not even that good of a unit. Certain units, I would just... Well, if you're free to play, you'll probably get a chance to limit break any unit you have possible. Tamari is a good limit break option. Hinata, not so much. Choji, I guess. They have five stars that can limit break as well. This Sakura, she's a healer. This Neji, he's actually not bad. But, like I said, if you have these units, go for the limit break. Go ahead, go for it. To get, of course, the six-star crystals, you have to awaken the five-star crystals, which you will need three five-star crystals whatever element you're fusing, for example, for example, cutting, I would need one four star scroll and one three star scroll along with three crystals to get a five star crystal. Oh, can, can I just show you? Okay, yeah, let, let me just show you, let me just show you. I'm gonna actually awaken it too. So, grind Ryu every day, grind the scrolls every day and grind ramen. Make sure you prioritize scrolls over ramen. You can use any type ramen to fuse with any element character however as far as scrolls you can only awaken certain characters with their own specific scrolls so scrolls get priority over ramen but if events are coming like phantom castle 
Yeah, for events are coming like Phantom Castle, don't grind scrolls, don't grind ramen. You get up to uh, room 100. After the Phantom Castle event has ended, the next day you will be awarded a ton of scrolls, ton of ramen, so you don't have to farm for a good for a good while. Yep. Three crystals, cutting crystals, four and three star wisdom. Ninja trial. Daily, just daily objectives. You know, they just recently added this. Complete these objectives. The grind. Like I said, if you want to grind more pearls, complete these objectives. If you want to grind real, grind these objectives. Doesn't hurt. It's daily. You have daily, you have limited, you have C, B, and A rank, depending on what your ninja rank is. So, these are some of the more long-term ones, the higher the rank. Yeah, some of the long-term ones. So, just generally, you de you'll definitely have to worry about daily ninja trial. Pay attention to that when you log in, since if there's any opportunities to get pearls, you always want that because you're free to play and you would like to get pearls. Other than that, summon. Summon, all right. Summon is very important. Banner like this. You don't necessarily have to summon on banners like this. If you're free to play, I only recommend you're summoning on a Blazing Festival banner. Why? Because for one, Blazing Festival banners has the best cards in the game. Two, you have a chance of getting the best cards at the game because regular banners do not have certain units. Certain units, like this Naruto, is only in Blazing Fest. Tsunade, generally only in Blazing Fest. And I don't think this Killer Bee is in Blazing Fest. He could be anybody. Uh, a body type banner. But, like, Sasuke, Obito, those are Blazing Fest units only. Madara, best unit in the game, or top two. Blazing Festival banners are, should be the only ones you summon on if you're free to play. Only banners to summon on. You have the highest chance possible to get a good card. Out of any other banner that they have. Blazing Fest banners should be. It's like that with any gacha game, really. It's literally like that with any gacha game. Blazing Fest, Dokkan Fest, Sugo Fest. Those are the banners you summon on with the highest chance possible to pull a very good card. Of course, you have the Friend Summon down here. Friend Summon, it gives you like low level ramen, uh, money bags, or pouches, or Rio. And it gives you characters. It can give you a mixture of things, but if you're running low on feeding characters to level up, you can just multi-summon from here. You just get some miscellaneous items. Purchase Ninja Pearls. If you're free to play, you're not going to touch that. Recover Stamina. You generally will never, ever do that. Granny House. Trial Coins. This shows you all the characters that are able to be limit broken. Shows you the inventory how many coins or how many trial points you have. Yeah, trial coins that you have. Right now, it's like a rate up on trial coins. So do this right now while this whole special is going on. You get more trial coins than you ever would. So they have uh, a section for each element. That's how you limit break characters. Battle coins are for PvP. You, the more you play PvP, the more coins you get, and the, and the more you rank up, the more coins you get. Exchange those coins with this, with these items: ramen, scrolls, characters, money, pills. Granny Cat Shop. This is for Ninja Road. Ninja Road. When I say complete it numerous of times, you get a lot of points. You can get scrolls out of here as well. If you're running low on scrolls, you get ramen out of here. If you're running low, you get money bags, pills, as well as a new character, which is Fuwa, which is I went past. But honestly, that's the gist of Blazing. Grind Story Mode. Get all the pearls you can from there before they reset Story Mode. Do Ninja Trial to get pearls. Do Pearl Objectives, which I actually have to show you. Yep, do Pearl Objectives on multiplayer. For example, Suigetsu is... Pretty sure Suigetsu is Wisdom type. You get three... Yeah, you get three pearls. He's either Wisdom or Bravery. I cannot remember. Bravery elements only. You get three pearls. Wisdom elements only. You get three pearls. Characters 28 or lower. You get five pearls. This is what I mean by building five different teams, same type element. So, mainly for this reason, for Pearl Objectives. Every raid has it. Every raid is every raid is different. See, Tachi, he is heart type. So it'll be one, three, and five pearls instead of three, three, and five. One pearl with a body type, obviously, because he's weak to body type. Heart type, three pearls, because it's neutral damage to him. He is heart type event. Skill type, five pearls, because you have a type disadvantage against the event. He's heart type, so it's gonna be much harder. Do these online without wasting your stamina. If possible, get the pearls, you're good to go. That's pretty much it. I try to cover as much as I can with um, 
Naruto blazing for you guys. Try to cover every tab. Every, literally everything that's on the screen. And this is the friend list and whatnot. Friend request. That's pretty much it. I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else you have to figure out in battle. You build your team. Make sure you know who your healers are. Make sure you know who your AoE Jutsu users are. Make sure you know who your single target Jutsu users are. Make sure you know who your strong units are. Stuff like that. Be aware of your units. Look at their stats. Look at their info. Look up everything about that character. Any character you pull, look up that character. And you decide for yourself if it's good. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. This is an advanced tutorial, just a long tutorial rather, on the basics and pretty much everything on Blazing, you know, that you would probably want to know. I might have left some things out. You have to forgive me. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, comment box below if you found this informative. And give it a thumbs up to show support. Appreciate you guys. Love you. And peace.